obviously a significant part of Easter and the days following Easter are the resurrection of Jesus. And for our last two days of this week, I want to share with you from 1 Corinthians chapter 15. In 1 Corinthians 15, beginning at verse 35 through the end of the chapter, uh, Paul gives his most extensive uh, writing and argument or description of the resurrection of the body. Now, Greeks had no trouble with the idea of the immortality of the soul because that tied in with their own Greek beliefs and Greek philosophy. But the idea of a resurrected or raised body, that was a hurdle for the Greeks to whom uh, Paul was preaching and teaching. And so beginning at verse 35, uh, he says, But someone will ask, How are the dead raised? With what kind of body do they come? And that's the beginning of Paul laying out his argument. Uh, the verse for today is verse 40, where Paul says, There are both heavenly bodies and earthly bodies, but the glory of the heavenly is one thing, and that of the earthly is another. And he goes on to describe that there's one glory of the sun and another glory of the moon and another glory of the stars. Indeed, star differs from star in glory. And so part of Paul's argument is that there will indeed be a resurrection body, that that will be a new body that's no longer perishable like our current body. Uh, it's kind of disconcerting, and most of us don't want to think about it, uh, but, you know, our body is perishable. Uh, you know, I don't know if any of you have a compost pile or a compost bin at your home. Uh, we have one out behind our shed. And, you know, that's where all tea bags and eggshells and uh, various other things just go. And they're all perishable. And they go back to the soil and become new soil. And our bodies, our physical bodies that we currently have, are perishable. But Paul says what is sown is perishable, what is raised is imperishable, so that we will have a new resurrection body, a spiritual body that will be ours forever in eternity with God. And yet Paul seems to express the belief that uh, we will maintain our individuality so that, you know, you think about, well, how will I recognize my parents in heaven, for example, or what will they look like? Will they look like when they were younger? Or will they look like when I knew them? Or how will we know our grandparents? A lot of this is a mystery. Uh, but Paul absolutely affirms that just as Christ was raised, that Christ is the first of what will be many. And that our perishable body will have to put on imperishability and be raised in power. And that is the hope we have this Easter week, even as our own bodies may physically be declining, we will one day have a body that will never decline and never die and never be diminished.